Dalco is clearly the stock which has taken it on its chin. You were telling us in the morning that it's the Novelis' Capex plan uh, which has uh, hurt sentiment today. Let's break it up into three parts, Rima. First, the India operations, then Novelis, and what disappointed the stock. First up, the numbers that just came in close around 45 minutes or so ago, that's the India business. So there are no worries. I'm looking at the downstream and the upstream aluminum business put together, and it's looking absolutely beautiful. There is growth both on a year on year as well as on a sequential basis. So that number looks very, very good. Uh, the power and fuel cost on a year on year basis is sharply lower. Even on a sequential basis, it's down close around 4%. And we know it's a power intensive business. So that cost seems to have played out for them because LME prices, well, they're de determined by the globe. The copper business as well, out there the TCRC has held them in good stead because out here you have uh, the beta number that's coming at around 650 crores odd. We had an estimate coming in from Kotak, they were working with around 550 crores. So you put both these two numbers together, that's the aluminium as well as uh, the copper business and it's more than 3,100 crores. Kotak had given a reference point of around 2,600 crores. So that's a 20% beat on the India operations. And the sweetener has come in because the consolidated debt has come down, which tells you that on the India business, there's been some repayment out there. So India P is beautiful. Novelis. Novelis's numbers are pretty much in line. The EBITDA per ton came in at around $500 per ton. And they're guiding for around $525 per ton in quarter four. And they're talking about $600 going ahead. Now, the problem pocket has been the capex that they've laid out. At Novelis, they have the 600,000 uh, uh, ton plant that they are going to be commissioning the next couple of years. And earlier, they were talking about $2.5 billion of capex out there. That's been upsized to around $4.1 billion. So that's a 60% increase. And they've also said that, you know, the commissioning will be a little bit delayed. That's the big problem pocket. The street doesn't like CAPEX getting upscales, uh, upscaled, particularly to this level. Brokerages, Equerus, they maintain their positive stance, but they're highlighting that the IRR on this project will get diluted to 10 to 12%, from around 70, 90% they were assuming earlier, while Incred, they are the contrary on the stock. They said that if this news is read negatively, then go in there and buy the stock. So those are two opinions that we got from brokerage houses. Sudhi Bandhupadai joins us 